Are you struggling to decide between curl-ups and sit-ups for your core workout? Look no further. Best curl-ups versus sit-ups guide is just what you need, so make sure to follow along till the end of the video if your aim is to master your core workout to gain a straight and strong upper body. Let's start by looking at the sit-up. With your back on the floor, knees a fist's distance apart. Slide your hands up your thighs, slowly coming up to a seated position. As you roll back down, focus on a strong C-curve in your spine. This is a classic sit-up. And now let's look at curl-up. Lie down on a mat, bring your feet in, position them hips width apart, and place your hands behind your head, keeping your elbows wide. Imagine a spot above your knees and focus on, maintaining this gaze throughout, and elevate your chest to lift your shoulder blades off the mat and stop at the peak of the movement. During the crunch, ensure your lower back remains in contact with the mat, and slowly lower back down to the starting position. But that's not all. This next part will shock you. At the peak of your movement when doing crunches is where the magic happens. Here you get the maximum core engagement without overextending. This position keeps your neck relaxed and channels the effort directly into your core. You'll feel an intense engagement along your midsection, hitting the target area precisely. And that is the crucial difference between your curl-ups versus sit-ups. Here is my favorite part. Benefits of both exercise to your core. The curl-up maximizes core muscle activation. As compared to your full sit-up, where you're often just using momentum and engaging the hip flexors, which isn't ideal for core strengthening. Watch out for this common mistakes when performing curl-up. First, overextending the neck. Second, dropping back too quickly. And third, confusing it with a full sit-up. Avoid these mistakes for an effective curl-up. Trust me, your core will thank you for it. And now, if not the most important part of the video. The secondary point of this video is to help prepare you for the upcoming one month at home core workout for women. The workout plan is designed to build foundational strength, flexibility, and promote weight loss. The plan will focus only on body weight exercises. Each day will include at least five exercises all geared towards building your core. So stay tuned for more fitness tips and the upcoming challenge.